ones and five ones and add six, six ones. The six is in the ones place. One, two, three, four, five, six ones. And I encourage you to pause the video and try to do that. Add 35 to six. So let's think about it now. So I'm gonna start with the ones. So I have five ones and I wanna add six ones. So what's that going to be? What's that going to be all together? Well, five ones plus six ones, that's going to be 11 ones. And I still have three tens. So we could say it's going to be three tens, three tens and 11 ones. Three tens, I could write plus 11 ones here. Now this is a little bit of a problem because we can't write a two digit number in the ones place or in any one of the places. I can't, this number isn't going to be 311, it's going to be three tens and 11 ones. But how can I rewrite this? Or how can I regroup things so that I, do, I only have a single digit number here? I have zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine here, instead of a two digit number, the one, one. Well, I can regroup. I could say, look, I have enough ones here to create a group of 10. I could take 10 of them. So let's take these 10 right over here and put them together and make a new group of 10. So a new group of 10 right over there. So if I take, so just to be clear what I just did, I just took these 10, these 10 ones, and I stuck them together and I turned it into this new group of, this new group of 10. So now what do we have? So when you regroup like this, you see that you have one, two, three, four tens, four tens, and how many ones do you have now? Four tens plus. Well, I've regrouped all of these 10 ones, and all I have left is this, this one one right over there. So I could write this as four tens plus one one. Once again, three tens and 11 ones, that's the same thing as four tens and one one. And so we can write that over here. We can write this as, we can write this as one one and four tens and four tens. Now how could you get this if you weren't, if you didn't do it like this and drawing everything out and regrouping like this? And this is actually what you should be doing in your head. But another way of thinking about it, you could say, all right, five plus six, that's going to be 11 ones. But I can't write an 11 here in the ones place. So I could say that's going to be the same thing as one ten plus one one. One ten plus one one. Sometimes it's taught that five plus six is 11, carry the one, but really what you're doing is you're saying five plus six is 110 plus one one. And in fact, an 11, the number 11 right over here, if I write the number 11, the number 11 has a one in the tens place and a one in the ones place. So it's 110 plus one one. So you're just saying that five plus six is 11, which is the same thing as 110 and one one. And then you add your tens together. One ten plus another three tens is going to be is going to be four tens. But I really want you to appreciate what's going on. You're not just blindly saying, "Oh, five plus six is 11, So I'm going to write the one one of the ones here and write the one in the tens place here. You're doing it because you're regrouping. You're regrouping that that, that group of ten. You're saying, "Hey, I could take ten of these ones." and I can turn them into a new group of 10, and that would just leave me one in the ones place. One in the ones place, and I've just turned all the other ones into a new group of 10. That is called regrouping. Okay, I'm going to unmute you. I just wanna make sure you are hearing me. Okay. Shanti, Shanti, do you hear me? Yes. He got in his ones, he had more than 10, so he put his group together of ones to make a new group of 10. Okay, so that's what we will be practicing today, regrouping. That means if with our ones, we can make a new group of 10, we put them together, and we move them over to the tens place like we were doing with our calendar, with the sticks. Every time we would get a group of 10, we would put them together, move them over to the tens place, and we would start again with zero ones. But right here, you might have some ones left, so those you leave in your ones place, okay? So right here, it says add tens and ones with 
regrouping. Okay, so we have 19. We have 19 plus 3 equals 22. Okay. So we're going to be drawing our model. That's why I was telling you that you had to be writing, drawing your models yesterday and Monday because it was very important for the regrouping. Okay, so how do I write 19 with a model? I have one group of 10. So I'm writing 19 with the model. I have one group of 10 and nine ones. So that's 19, one group of 10 and nine ones. Now, I'm going to be drawing my other group and I have three ones. So I would be drawing my three ones right here. Okay, so those are, so I have 19, those are my blue ones. Okay, so get your right, little writing journal and you're copying this because you're going to need it for your homework. Okay, so 19 plus three, my model would be one group of 10 and nine ones. My other number would be three. My model would have three ones. Okay, now I count my ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I have twelve ones. But if I write, rewrite my problem vertically, If I write it nineteen plus three. So I have 12 ones. Can I write 12 ones right there? No, I cannot write 12 ones there. Okay, so to fix that problem, I circle my group of 10. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So this is my new group of 10. So this new group of 10, I bring it over to the tens place because if I have 10, can I leave it in the ones place? No, so I need to regroup it and bring it over to the tens place. So now I have another group of 10 here. Okay. And how many ones do I have left here? two. Okay, so when I write my answer, that's what he was showing you. Okay, remember how we make the T chart, and these are my tens, and these are my ones. Okay, so I cannot write 12 here, because 12 is one group of 10 and two more. 
Okay, so I cannot write it like that. That means okay, that I would be writing my two here because that's how many ones I have left right there, two ones. I would move my new group of 10 up here. And to remember that you have to bring over a group of 10 make a square here and write your new group of 10 there. So one group of 10 plus another group of 10 equals two groups of 10. So 19 plus three equals 22. Okay, and this is called regrouping, but it's very important Okay, to draw the model so that you could put all of your, your group of 10 together, circle it, and see how many you have left, KDG. Okay, so now we're going to go on to the next one. Okay, and get your little writing journal. Okay, so that we can do it in our writing journal. Okay, get your page on your writing journal. And that's page 472. Four hundred seventy-two. And you write today's date. Okay. So you're going to write okay. you're writing thirteen. And what did Ms. Morales forget? We forgot our T chart. My tens and my ones. And remember, you're going to draw a square so that you remember to write your new group of 10 when you regroup. And now we're going to write 13 plus eight. That's what we are adding, okay? Remember to put that square on top of the one. I have 13, so for 13, I have one group of 10, and how many ones? Three. That's 13. Okay. Angel, are you copying the work? That way you have the example for your homework. So 13 plus eight. So I have 13, one group of 10, and three ones. Now eight, I have eight ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Now three ones 
plus eight ones, let me count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I have eleven, but can I write eleven here? In the ones place? No, I cannot write eleven there. So I have to regroup my ones. And when we regroup, that means we make a new group of 10. Okay. So I count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I circle my group of 10 and I bring this group over to my tenths place. So how many ones do I have left? I circled it with my yellow crayon. Okay, I have one left right here. So I have one, one, and I have now two groups of 10, okay? So three plus eight, sorry, three ones plus eight ones is 11 ones. So I write one here and I carry my other one, my group of 10 into the box, okay? So now I add my groups of 10. One group of 10 plus another group of 10 that makes two groups of 10. So 13 plus eight equals 21. The page. So if we go to that problem, okay. So what, I what we did right now in the little journal, that's what they're showing you right here. Find 13 plus eight, okay, count the ones. So here's 13, one group of 10, and your three ones, and here is our group of eight, okay, then they, grouped they counted they grouped their group of 10 and they have one left there okay and then they carried this group over to the tenth place which is now this gray one right here and how many ones were left? One one was left, okay? So that would make two groups of 10 and one one, which is 21, okay? Now we're going to number one, which is 15 plus five, okay? And remember, we have to rewrite it vertically in our journal. Okay, so we're going back to our journal. Okay, so we're going to write, make our T chart first. Okay. So we make our T chart, we write our tens and ones. Remember, make your box in case you have a new group of 10. And then we write our problem, 15 plus five. And then on the other side, we make our T chart again for the model.
Okay, so copy the problem vertically and then make your T chart for the model. It's one group of 10 and five ones. Okay, that's how we write 15. One group of 10 and five ones. Now, plus five more ones, I would draw right here. Okay. Now I count how many ones I have all together to see if I need to regroup. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I have a group of ten here. Can I leave it in the ones place? No, I need to regroup it and I need to carry it over to the tens place. So this group of 10, now I bring it to this side. Go Milan, Milan, go ahead and go. So this group of 10, I bring it over. Do I have any, any ones left there in the ones place, Justin? Do I have any ones in the ones place left out of the circle? Unmute yourself, Justin. No, no, because look right here. Do I have any left out here outside of the ones? No. Okay. So I don't have any ones left. Now, how many groups of 10 do I have, boys and girls? I have one group of 10 and another group of 10. So that means I have two groups of 10 and I don't have any ones left here. Okay. So now five per five ones plus five ones equals 10 ones. But can I write 10 here? No. Okay. So five ones plus five ones equals 10 ones. So I write zero because look, I don't have any ones here left. So that's zero. And I carry the one over to the tens place. So one group of 10 plus another group of 10 equals two groups of 10. So 15 plus five equals 20. This is seen as number two. Okay. And number two, it's, again, we start with our T chart. We write tens and my ones. And it's 19 plus four. And then I draw my tens and ones over here. 
so that I could draw my model. So then 19, okay, how am I going to draw 19? It's one group of 10 and nine ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, that's how we draw 19. One group of 10 and nine ones. Now I have four ones. So I'm going to draw one, two, three, four. My four ones. Now I, I count how many ones I have all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13. So if I have 13, can I make a group of 10? Yes, I have enough to make a group of 10. So yeah. I, okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I circle my group of 10 right here. So this group of 10 that I'm regrouping, I bring it over to my tenth place. Okay. And now on this one, do I have ones left? Yes. I have these ones that I'm circling with yellow. Okay. So how many ones do I have left? Three ones. Okay. How many groups of 10 do I have? One, two, I have two groups of 10. So 19 plus four is 30, it's 23, okay? But when I add it here vertically, can nine ones plus four ones is 13. Can I write 13 here? No, that's not the correct way to write it, okay? Nine ones plus four ones is 13. So I write, go ahead, Justin. Okay, so I write 13. Oh, let me change the color, sorry. Okay, it would be three ones and I carry my group of 10 and put it in the box on the top. Okay, so one group of 10 plus another group of 10. Okay, so one 10 plus one 10 equals two tens. So 19 plus four is 23. Go ahead, Xavier. Okay. So now let's go back to the math page. Okay. So right here, okay, is showing you your 15, one group of 10 plus five ones, okay? And then five, your other five ones, so what you are going to do here, you count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This gives you a group of ten. You circle it, you're going to bring it over, and you're going to draw it there. Okay. So 15 plus five, you could see your answer back in the journal where you were copying is 20, okay? Now number two, 19 plus four, you have your group of 10 and your nine ones right here, like we were doing it in the journal. 
plus four ones. You have your four ones here. Now you're going to make your new group of 10 here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. You circle your groups of 10, your group of 10 here. Bring it over. Draw your other group of 10 there. And now circle how many ones you have left. You have three ones left. So 19 plus four. Is 23, okay? But now for your homework, you're not only going to be showing me that, in your homework, you're going to show me how we were doing it in the journal. So you will need your red crayon and your yellow crayon like we would practice in class. Okay, so for homework, it would be... Miss Morales. Yes? Perdón que interrumpa, soy mamá de Alexander. Uh-huh. Este, lo voy a tener que sacar yo. And then this one here is also your homework. So this is your homework. And this is your homework. Are you going only to be showing me your answers on this page? No, you need to show me your work in another paper. Okay, so I need to see your work of how you are regrouping your ones and moving it over to the tenths place. Okay, so you can copy the problems from this page, but your homework will be on another page, on another paper. Okay, very good. So we will stop there.